Welcome back to Mama Chula Designs. So today, it's not necessarily a tutorial, but you're going to watch me make this bow right here with some supplies from our shop. So I say it's not a tutorial because this is the third bow I've ever made with this. And these are the supplies that we're going to use. So my black ribbon is a 3 inch grow gray ribbon. Then the Cruella print is a 1 inch ribbon. And then I have a shaker that I'm going to add to the center. And then you'll, you'll need a clip or a headband if you're going to attach this to something. So here I'm just snipping off the excess frays because if I burn it with all these long pieces, you know that you're going to get little globs of that burned um, ribbon there. So to avoid that, we trim that off and now I'll take my lighter and seal the edges. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the one inch ribbon. Trim off the excess frays. And then we will seal it again with the lighter. Now alternatively, alternatively, excuse me, to the lighter, you can use a tea light candle. Just let it sit there and burn. Um, I didn't do that this time because there was not uh, a lot that I needed to do with the lighter. But if you're doing a lot of um, burning, you know, sometimes that little wheel can get a little tiresome on your thumb. So candle is a good alternative there. So I'm going to crease the center of my three inch bow, or sorry, my three inch ribbon, so that I can place the other one on top, because this is going to be um, kind of my accent piece, instead of using two uh, three inch ribbons. This is just to save a little more on my end, on, um, on the cost of materials. Or if you just happen to find a really cute print that you like and they didn't have it in the three inch ribbon, this is also another part that you can do. Now here I didn't attach my clip correctly, so I'm going back in, getting my centers together, and this time clipping both of the ribbons. Okay, so to make sure that my ribbon is not moving around once my bow is completed, I'm going to use liquid silicone and I got this on Amazon. I can link uh, my Amazon shop to the video. So for this beginning point, I'm going to use quite a bit of it in the center there. Um, but I'm not going to line the entire length of the ribbon with the silicone. Okay, so I went a couple of inches worth there. I'm going to center it again and then smooth it down. This, dye, this dries very quickly, so you can continue working and not have to wait, you know, long periods of time. So now you saw me rub off that excess that was there, it leaves no residue, it's really great to work with. So I'm just taking my finger and smoothing out any like uh, lumps that I feel with the silicone. And now every few inches I'm just going to add a couple dots worth. And do the same thing. So about that much, you don't need a whole lot. Now, if I do notice bigger gaps, you'll see me go back later and fill in some more of it. So if you feel that you need to do that, you can. It's absolutely fine. So again, you want to always smooth out that silicone. Make sure you get anything that runs out that you rub it off. You don't want to wait too long to do that. I'm going to go for a bigger section here. So I'm going to do a couple more dots. And I just let it kind of string from dollop to dollop. So everywhere there's a dollop, that's kind of where I'm going in and kind of smoothing those out. Just to keep my ribbon flat. And make sure we don't end up with any bulges that we don't want later.
Okay, now that we've reached the end, I'm going to snip off this excess from the one inch ribbon. And then I'm going to take my lighter and I'm going to burn the ribbons together and kind of seal the, the edges there together. So this is where I started. And so I burn both of them, give them a good bit there, and then just press to have them sealed together. And I'll repeat the same thing on the other end of the ribbon. And there we can see it kind of fused them together. And so that's a pretty large gap. So I'm going to go in around the centerpiece and just put a couple more dots of the silicone in there. Just because you don't want the ribbon flopping. So of course again we go back and smooth it out. And now we're ready to form our bow. So I'm going to mark the center. And by the way, the ribbons are one yard in length. I'm going to burn it here just to allow it to give me a better crease so I can see where my middle is. Take one end and I'm going to loop it over on the top. And in the center piece, I'm going to take my clip and hold it here. Because now I'm going to take the other end of the ribbon and do the same thing, um, but around the bottom. I'm going to make sure it lines up correctly. And we'll fix that now. Okay, so I have one clip on one end, another clip on the other, just to give me a little more stability. Now I'm going to take the bow and um, fold it over on itself. Because I want to create a crease here in the center. I'm going to move my clip out of the way so I can get to the center. So again, I'll try to increase the edges here. And now those creases, we're going to take it to the center where that X is going to be. I'm going to line up one end and I'm going to overlap the other. So those of you that do these frequently, maybe you can help me out. Like, should I not have overlapped as much? Do I need to overlap more? That was one of the things that... I wasn't sure. Okay, so looking to see what's in the center and then we're going to fold it over and this is where we're going to make our peaks. So you want to make sure that the edges always fold the same way. So here mine are folded towards the, the mat there. So I have my needle and thread and I'm going to just attach it to the very edge of it. And then I'm going to wrap it around the bow to secure the center. Okay, I did a couple turns so now I'm just going to secure it.
Okay, so I can remove my clips. And now I'm going to just adjust so I can make uh, space for my shaker in the center. So I'm cutting out a piece of just regular black faux leather to put around the center. Take my hot glue gun. And here I was supposed to be adding my black centerpiece and I added the shaker instead. So off camera, I take it off and I do it correctly. <laughs> Just give me a hot second to figure it out. Alright, so here we go. I added the center black piece and then I added the shaker on top. And now I'm going to attach my clip and I realized then that I didn't need glue all the way across because it doesn't really touch there so really all I needed was some in the center so now I'm going to go back in so I can secure the center piece from the front side into the center part of the clip I'll do one end and then do the same thing with the remaining end. And here we have our finished bow. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any tips, tricks, any ideas for my girls in the group, it would be much appreciated if you guys would share that in the comments. So thank you guys and I hope to see you in the shop soon. MamaChulaDesigns.com you can also find us in your app store for Apple and Google Play. Mama Chula Designs.